Good morning, everybody. This is Kilo November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate how I power up, power down my Flex 64 um, radio. Um, this radio is on a LAN. Um, I chose to go with everything being remote, power up, power down, because ultimately when I am remote, I will be powering up, power down. So I came up with a process to do this, no matter if I'm at my ham shack or I'm away from home. I powered up the same way both ways. So um, once you've got your system set up and you got Smart SDR running, um, you'll go to um, select settings on the top left. This window will pop up. You'll look for remote on and ensure it's enabled. Once it's enabled, you're good to go. You can close it out and then you can power down your, your Flex 6400. Now, for remote operations of some, some items you need, you need this uh, digital logger switch. Uh, that's just a uh, contact. When it's power, it closes the contact. That contact kind of gives it the uh, signal to the flex that uh, you've, you've desired to power up the radio. Um, also, I use web switches. You can whatever brand you want. I just so happen to use these for my uh, ham radio. Um, one other thing that I got is this um, relay. Uh, it's a USB relay that I've integrated in with my Amtron um, RC10 relay system. I use a relay box up in the attic for my antennas, but I took away their control box that they use. I reverse engineered the, the uh, um, diodes and capacitors to operate the same way with, with this uh, USB switch. Um, on the back of your flex radio, there's a, a, a RCA jack marked REM um, on. Uh, you will get an RCA cable plug to that, and essentially uh, uh, the two conductors will plug to the uh, um, to your digital logger. And that's kind of all you need. And once you get that all set up, you got your radio already set up, and then uh, this is how I do it. So, kind of how, how it works is um, when I first start off, I first uh, select flex power. Essentially what that does, it provides power to the power supply, one of these web switches, which again powers, provides 12 volts for the radio. While the radio won't be starting up, you may see a little flash when power first gets to the radio, but ultimately the radio shut down. Um, the second thing I'll do is then I'll hit, uh, hit number two, which I call flex soft switch. That's really for remote on. It powers up the, the digital lodger, closes the contact, and gives a signal the radio needs to power up. Um, once the radio's powered up, um, I go to number three and I start smart SDR on my computer, and it's, it's start up and it's connected. And after that, I've got a tuner and the USB that I energize um, to keep the circuit stable for my antenna tuner. Uh, here's another kind of graphic of what I do. Um, so first off, I hit the, the uh, flex power, I call it, you call it whatever you want. I call it flex power on my uh, uh, Wi-Fi switch, on my app on my phone. I turn it on, I wait five seconds, make sure power stabilizes. Then I come up here and I hit what I call the flex soft switch. It powers up this logger um, through a web switch. I wait 40 seconds. Um, once I've got a green on here that's got power to the switch, I wait 40 seconds. I've timed it. It typically takes anywhere 35 to 37 seconds. I thought I'd just go with 40 to be safe to ensure uh, once the, the radio has booted up, it's a computer, it takes a few seconds to boot up. Uh, it boots off an SD card inside the radio. So I know 40 seconds is stable, and I shouldn't have any problems. So once I get the radio uh, powered up, then I, what I do on my computer, I go ahead and start Smart SDR. And then once Smart SDR is, then I gauge my tuner, my USB. Now, I have the tuner USB on a separate web switch for an important reason. My experience with anything USB or with the uh, uh, auto tuner is sometimes it will stop working. 
and I don't want to be remote and have to power down the radio to get this recycled. So I'm able to shut it off remotely and then power it back up and get it unlocked, latched. So, so the key is I always, I always power up the tuner after I get the SDR software running on startup. Shutdown is just the opposite. I, uh, I, I, I first shut down the tuner and then I sh shut down the smart SDR. This is what my app looks like on my phone. And disregard the order, it doesn't seem right. Just the way it came up. But first I hit what I call flex power. I wait five seconds. Then I go to remote start. I call the flex soft switch. I count to 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, I, I, uh, power up the smart SDR on the fly correction by the way I power up the smart SDR and once uh, the SDR is running on my computer then I'll power up the USB antenna tuner uh, now I'm going to power down it's just a little bit different um, the first thing I do is uh, disconnect the uh, USB turn the power off of that and then I shut down the smart SDR. Uh, then I'll hit the flex soft switch. I'll turn it off. I'll wait 10 seconds. I've timed the, the, the radio once it stop, stops running. And it generally flashes for 8 seconds. So I went safely to 10 seconds. I knew it's powered down. And once I've reached that, then I'll kill power completely to the power supply. Uh, here's kind of the sequence going through um, what I just went through on my phone. Um, First, I kill the tuner, then I kill the, shut down the smart SDR, then I hit the remote uh, flex off switch, wait 10 seconds, and after that, I kill the power to the power supply. That's essentially it. Um, so that's how I do it. I do it for a reason. I've, I've worked with computers a long time. If you, if you follow a process on it, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to get the end result you're looking for. Now, if you shut the power down, flex power, the power supply down before the radio is completely booted down, take a chance of corrupting your SD card. And that's not fun because then you got to call flex and get them to send you a new card. So I don't want to do that. I want to try to do the same every time. Um, and it seems to work well. So anyways, I uh, hope this was informational to anybody. That's how I do it. I'm not telling you that's the way you got to do it. But I went did a lot of testing. And for me, I'm always going to power up my radio remotely. This worked out good for me. So anyways, hope this is helpful. 73 is to you. Have a great day.